Hi there! So I recently came across a, um, a really interesting BuzzFeed quiz. <laughs> I thought we could take the quiz together, I guess. <laughs> So the quiz is, would you survive marriage to Henry VIII? So I think, I think uh, the um, I, I, I or whatever in uh, Roman numbers is eighth. I just googled it. <laughs> anyway, you know the guy that he chopped off the heads of all his wives because... <laughs> okay. So the first question is, do you have white hips for childbearing? Oh my, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I do. Okay, so the answer is correct, I guess. <laughs> it says so. Your fertility is of the utmost importance to Henry. He'll be looking for someone who can bear him a child. And more importantly, a son. So those womanly hips and fruitful womb are vital. <laughs> Do you expect your SO to stay faithful to you? So the um, the options are yes, I won't tolerate cheating, or I'll remain I'll remain loyal and steadfast even if he cheats on me. Um, since it's Henry we're talking about, I I guess uh, I have no choice but to remain loyal to him, you know, just for survival. <laughs> and the answer is correct. You're going to need to tolerate Henry's antics. Henry is the ultimate medieval fuckboy and no matter how special he makes you feel when he's courting you, as soon as you're married and trying to get pregnant, he's going to start humping your attractive maidservant. Okay. <laughs> Just look what happened to Anne Boylin. She was his sexy mistress while he was with Catherine of Aragon. But once they got together, he quickly moved on to Anne's maid, Jane Seymour. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Next question. If your partner cheated on you, how would you react? So the options are I'd gladly ignore it or I'd get petty and plot to destroy them. Okay, okay. So I do not um I do not accept cheating at all, but you know it's Henry, so I I had I guess I'll have to politely ignore it and the answer is correct. Henry is going to cheat on you, and you need to put up with him. Anne Boylin was accused of plotting to kill Henry, partly because of her jealousy over his affair with her maid, Jane Seymour. You'll need to politely ignore the king's shenanigans if you want to keep your head. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing the result of this quiz is I'm gonna get beheaded anyway, because you know the story of his wives. <laughs> Have you ever been described as meek? Now, what what the hell does that mean? Google Translate does not have an answer for me. What is meek? Meek definition. Enduring injury with patience and without resentment. A meek child dominated by his brothers. His delivery varied from a meek, melodic patter to rapid-fire scriptural allusions. What? 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 So, I, I don't know what meek is, and I've never been called it. So, in this, this wrong answer. Yes, wrong. Henry found meekness an attractive trait in a woman. Jane Seymour, arguably his favorite wife, was extremely passive, described as gentle a lady as I as ever I knew by Henry's minister John Russell. Jane died after giving birth to his son Edward in 1537 and Henry actually grieved for her. 
Do you come from an influential influential family? Okay, so we need to talk about this. At the time Henry lived, I'm gonna Google this just just to make sure. He was uh, the Lord of Ireland uh, from 22nd of April 1509 until his death. So okay. I've done my research. Let me just uh, get up my big ass family tree here just to just to show you guys. So let me show you. I'm sorry about the light, it really, it really shines, but this here is um, Tord Fankestock and he lived from 1315 to 1360. Um, so Tord Fankestock is, you know, he's an ancestor of mine and he is like the, I guess, earliest that we know of. He was nobility, so yeah, at the time that Henry lived, my um, my noble ancestry, they were still going strong. They were still um, using the name Bankestock and so they had high positions in um, the Norwegian... Whatever, they were like squires and they were on the... Um, they were advisors and they had... Um, they had at least some influence on um, the whole Norwegian situation. I have not um, read enough about them to, you know, tell tell you. <laughs> but that's that's actually a project of mine. I'm looking into my ancestors. So, so I can say that yeah, my family have power. So the options are yes, my family have power, money, and influence, and. The other one is, no one has ever heard of my family. I say that, yeah, my family, they had power, money, and influence. And that is the correct answer. Henry is less likely to kill you if you have an influential family. Anne of Cleves survived her marriage to Henry and was coolly divorced rather than beheaded. Partly this may have been because Henry wanted to avoid a ma major diplomatic incident with her powerful German family. The next question. Your new heavily overweight husband has a weeping gang gangrenous, gang gangrenous leg? What the? Okay. What do you do about it? <laughs> Options. Ew, I don't want to touch him. And the other one is, I'll take milk baths to keep my skin soft and wear perfume so he finds me alluring in the bedroom. Uh, do I have to? So gangrenous. Okay, what, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, I know, okay. Mm. What does gangrenous legs have to do with the bedroom? I don't really want to touch him, but the things you do for love. <laughs> I'll take milk baths. <laughs> Correct. Get in, <laughs> get in that milk bath, bitch. <laughs> when Henry married Catherine Parr, he was in a bad state. His leg, wounded years before in a hunting accident, was... You... You... Why do they use so many hard words? I don't understand. His leg wounded years before in a hunting accident was Yulgrius I Yulgrius and infected but Catherine dutifully performed her role as his devoted wife nonetheless. Have you ever had sex? Okay, so I know that um Yes, obviously, um, and that is <laughs> obviously the wrong answer, but, um, you know, because uh, back in the days, people, they saw 
uh, women as filthy if they had had sex before marriage. So yeah, Henry better not find out you've had any previous partners or it'll be off with your head. That's what happened to Henry's teenage bride, Catherine Howard. She had been sexually abused as a child and then probably raped by Thomas Culpepper. When Henry found out about her sexual history, he beheaded her. Okay, so my fate with Henry. Henry divorced you. Henry might not hate you enough to chop off your head. Well done. You might even escape the marriage with a couple of royal residences under your belt. Yes. So I got to divorce that pig. I hope you enjoyed taking this quiz with me. <laughs> I found it somewhat funny, I guess. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.